Hey guys, so I just finished showing you on Instagram stories how I clean and sanitize all of my makeup brushes using my Cinema Secrets. Um, and so I figured I'd go ahead and actually go brush by brush with you and show you what brushes I have in my little um, travel bag. So I'm gonna show all right, you that. So this is what I have in my little travel bag. Um, the little travel bag that I use is this little tart one here and it is perfect for me because when I'm ready to use it, it stands up and it opens. It's got a little zipper here and then all of my brushes are easily accessible um, without having to dig around in like a giant bag. It kind of just sits up, it props up like that and you have quite a lot of space in there where you can put tons of brushes. So first of all, I wanted to mention that the majority of these brushes are tart. Um, as you can see, they all kind of have a similar theme going on and that's because I did mostly get them um, in a uh, like a brush set. And so I'm not exactly sure what that brush set is called at this point. It had something to do with like back to school, something like that. But unfortunately, that particular set is no longer in stock. I want to say I spent maybe like 50 to 60 bucks though for the, for the majority of these brushes because the majority of these brushes did come in that set. Um, and so they do have, if not all of these brushes, they do have most of them as singles on their website, but, um, I just wanted to show you what I have. So these are just some mascaras and like a brow pencil that I keep in my little travel bag. Um, so the first brush that I wanted to talk about is this one here. None of these tart brushes have names. This is a huge fat, um, like powder brush. At least that's what I use it for. And so that is this brush. The next brush is pretty similar. Um, this one is almost the same as that other brush, um, only this one is dual-ended. And so I kind of use this one for bronzer. I know it's a really fat brush for bronzer, but it actually applies bronzer really beautifully. And then it has this other end over here. Uh, it's a little bit longer bristles. I really like this one for highlight, or you can use it for um, under the eyes. Um, and so I like that brush too. I really like that one a lot. This one is not a favorite. I bought this one. This one was definitely not in the kit, but I bought this one or no, actually I'm, I'm kidding. This one came in a set that I bought on QVC with something I bought for with Tarte. I think it was a foundation. Um, and so this particular brush, I kind of like it for like cream bronzer or cream blush. It's a little bit slanted there as you can see. Um, I don't like this for foundation. I'm pretty sure that this came with a foundation that I ordered online and I was not a fan um, because the bristles are pretty flimsy and I didn't like that for foundation. All right, the next brush here is perfect for um, like a lip or eyeliner. This tip here is nice and thin and pointy so you could use this for eyeliner. Um, otherwise you have the other end here that is perfect as a lip brush. Uh, I don't really use this one very often, but it is nice to have. The next brush is an Eagle Tools brush. This is an old, old brush that I've had. Um, they do still sell this set though, and it comes with this guy here. As you guys can see, um, it comes with this, and so I really like these for the eyes. So you got a domed um, like definer brush here. You have a flat kind of packer brush. And then on the other end, I like this um, more flat side in order to do like my lash line. And then um, you have this one here that you can either use for like a shadow liner or for your eyebrows. All right, next one is this little, I believe, Luxie brush. This one, I don't think it has a name. Oh, actually it does have a name there. It is the mini flat angled brush. And I mostly use this just to put a little pop of something in my inner corner. So that's what I use this brush for. The next one is a Morphe brush. This is the Morphe Y14. And I use this brush for highlight. So I specifically use this one for my highlight. Then this one is another one that came part of that Tarte set. This one, it has like a flat kind of um, eyeshadow packer brush and then um, it's got this other side here that you can use for if you're doing like a cut crease or something like that or if you wanted um, to put for you know like cleaning up around your lips if you're wearing like a bold color you can use it as a lip brush it's really tiny this little um, flat side here I don't really use this side very much I mostly just use this one 
Next up is a perfect brow brush. So this one here you have um, to put on like a brow pomade or something like that. And then on the other side here, you've got a perfect spoolie. This one is another one that came in that set. So you have another flat brush here and a kind of domed crease brush. Nice and soft. I love tart brushes. This one um, is another one that came part of that set. I use this one for foundation. It's not the best brush for foundation, but it definitely gets the job done. It's not super dense, but it's definitely not very flimsy either. So it gets the job done. This brush here is my perfect blush brush. Um, and this side here is perfect for blending out concealer underneath your eyes. Um, I really like this brush. This is another one I came in that set. Next one here, this one um, I believe is also an old Equal Tools brush. Yeah, there's a little E for Equal Tools. Um, I use this one. Does this have a name? I don't think so. No, this one doesn't have a name. Um, but I've used this one tons of times um, for concealer, but it's also a nice shape that if you wanted to blend out like around your crease, you can definitely do that as well. And then the last brush here is another Equal Tools brush. This one is um, slanted here. I really like this brush for either underneath the eye, blending out concealer, or for blending out cream contour or cream blush. You could also really use this um, to put on foundation. It's really nice. So I just wanted to show you guys all of that, and that goes inside of that big little tart brush that I showed you guys. Not tart brush, I'm sorry. It goes inside the tart bag that I showed you guys. So there you have it. I've put everything inside of the bag and this is how it all fits in here. This particular brush, I do store it upside down so that the tip here, you see how it's already kind of curved. Um, I don't want it to get any more curved. I've tried washing it and everything, but unfortunately it's never been, you know, put back to um, nice and straight. So it is what it is. It still works perfectly fine. So I just store it upside down like that. That's the only thing with double ended brushes is that you never really um, have a perfect way of storing it. And so yeah, so that's all the brushes stored in my little bag here with the little mascaras that I keep. And then it zips up and when you're ready to use it, it just stands up perfectly.